pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. You have no defenses and no protection, and you don't need them. In your world creation, just remember that you have no ability to protect yourself or defend yourself against potential threats such as disease or harm from others or from life itself. This might sound like a problem, but it is not because you don't need protection from anything. Nothing can come into your experience unless you invite it by thoughts and actions. No one has ever been harmed or died of a disease that they themselves didn't create and attract. How could they? Let's look at cancer, for example. People who have died from cancer caused by cigarettes did not die because of the cigarettes that they smoked. Instead, it was a combination of their belief that cigarettes cause harm and their overall attraction in regards to health. Remember that when you are eliciting a response from the universe, that the resulting elicitation will be created from some combination of the elements of the situation. If this person was creating negative vibrations from poor meanings on a regular basis, then they were attracting and eliciting harm to themselves in the same way as the rice was eliciting harm to itself with the negative labels it had. How that harm comes depends on what elements are available to draw from. It will manifest in the most appropriate and easiest way that it can. Maybe this person doesn't even smoke. Then what? Cancer will develop from some other source. Perhaps it will then be colon cancer or breast cancer or some other type. What if this person has watched what they eat and done breast exams and there is no way that they can have any elements that can cause cancer? Then it might be heart disease or a heart attack that will be elicited into effect. It's just with the media telling you how bad it is to smoke and that you can't eat this or that or whatever, it just serves to increase your worry about what you are doing and makes that particular thing most likely to be the one that goes bad for you. How do they know that it's bad anyway? Is it because of the proof that was elicited by the ones who died from it? Don't you realize that if someone thought eating fruit would kill them, they would elicit some proof of it and they would die? Then these so-called experts would then point to the evidence and proof that this person elicited and say that eating fruit is bad for you. Of course, that probably would never happen because most people think that eating fruit is good for you. Do you see what someone else does in their own reality and dies of in their own reality has nothing to do with you? Everything that some people have died from caused no harm whatsoever to others who did or ate the same things. Do you see where this is going? The reason that so many people die of cancer from smoking is that there are so many people who smoke and there is so much propaganda that it is going to kill you that it makes it an easy way for the body to receive the harm that's coming its way. If those people who died from smoking would have never smoked or quit a long time ago, they would have just attracted something else. It is obvious that they weren't attracting good health or the cigarettes would have never harmed them. How could they? Do you remember the challenge example back in Chapter 2, The Meaning of Your Life? You can't help someone that doesn't have it coming to them because they are invisible to you in any potential help. By the same token, those who are attracting poor health are going to experience it in some way, no matter what they do. They are eliciting it and it will manifest. On the other hand, those who are eliciting great health 
will experience it no matter what they do or don't do. You can't harm them in any way. Remember all the examples of the people who could stand in a fire unharmed and stop speeding bullets with their skin? Do you think that they could get cancer from smoking? I don't think so. George Burns smoked heavily and still lived until he was a hundred. I know, I know that he was a happy person and in good spirits most of the time with a great outlook on life. Do you know how I know this? No, it's not because I read it or saw a program on him. Anyone who has read this book can assess that because if he had a poor outlook on life and was upset most of the time, he would have gotten cancer from his smoking or been the victim of some other disease and died way before 100. If someone is attracting bad health and or bad life experiences because of their negative emotions and negative meanings about their life, there is nothing that they can do to protect themselves from receiving and experiencing it. It will show up in some way or the other. You can't, on the one hand, be attracting something and on the other hand, try to stop it. Your attention to it an effort to stop it attracts it even more. That's double attention and double attraction. But you don't need to protect yourself from anything. If instead, you just change your meanings to good ones with your God power and look for the best in every experience and aspect of your life, then things will just get better on their own. When you are feeling great about yourself and your life, you don't need to protect yourself or defend yourself against anything because you aren't attracting it in the first place. Ignorance is bliss. If there is one thing that could be called protection, it might be ignoring people and information on things that you don't want. You will only have to do this at the beginning, because later, as you perfect your use of God power and assert good meanings all the time, this type of information will not even come to your notice. You will automatically be filtering it out and be totally ignorant of the facts, and that will be a blessing to your life. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power. Chapter number 12, segment number 25. Let your quest for knowing continue.